Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 6 of Sunshine in the Mirror. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Holy crap, that's laughing in my ear! <laughs> <laughs> My guilty kids babies reunite. <laughs> the bus of unit. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Does that mean we're gonna hear guilty? Bra, stop it, my heart. If guilty kiss sings in this episode, I will die of happiness. Like, ah. <laughs> Your honey. <laughs> Yeah, but investigating by yourself, Rico, that's really dangerous. <laughs> Her <laughs> cup, oh my god. It's so cute. And of course, Rico has the otter cup. <laughs> You're right about that. Isn't like a weird hybrid of a whale and a dolphin? Yeah. Kind of cool.
this is the episode where literally everyone is finally going to be in the same room together. Dang, I never really realized how short Johanna is between the other two. Oh my god. <laughs> it's cute though. She's right. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> oh my god, Rico, no, wait, hold up, don't expect <laughs> Not on Ruby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're Ruby! Oh no. Oh my god, it's Oron High School Host Club all over again. Grab it! Oh. Nice catch. <laughs> really, Daya? Right, <laughs> stay in the best freaking unit. I'm like, ah, uh. Why not? Sorry. <laughs> Why? Tomorrow. Okay, Chica, you need to go come over here, find your girlfriend. Convince her some way, shape, or form to say, even though they have not interacted once yet, it's still so weird because, like, we're in an alternate reality for this series, and I'm like, oh my god, like, we, we haven't had, like, a Chica Rico moment, we've had, we haven't even had a kind of Chico Yo moment, and I'm like, what? Hell, we haven't had a Mari Kanon moment yet, and it's just like out of body experience. It's really crazy. I think in a way everybody feels like that.
Try to stop her. Oh my god. Ah, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, I'm already tearing up regardless. Uh Uh, being friendly or friends? Oh. And they became two little outsiders together. You're their third. They all do it. Of course they will, my God! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I can't let them, I love them so much. Oh. Oh, and you were lonely again.
Mm -hmm. All right now, I, I can't. This is too much. Oh my god. You beat me with her hair up, oh my god. Ah! <laughs> the fucking masterpiece, oh my god. <laughs> we're, we're not even done with the episode, but still. That's your honor. Well, your honor. You follow your heart. Is it bad that I kind of want her to sing the song that she sang in episode one again? Because that song is a good song. Like, I, I need that song. I don't know if that song is on Apple Music yet, but I need that song. Been looking for that song since episode one, so praying to God. It's on there.
Wait, what? Uh, wait, Ruby? Are, are we serious? Honey, okay, if we're having a girls' night, everybody has to be here. The whole entire Aquas has to be there. So that everyone can have interactions with each other. I need moments. I need shippable moments where we all get... Fangirly moments, and we fangirl about it for the next couple of weeks. That's all I want. This was a really interesting episode. I don't know why, especially looking at Guilty Kiss in a nutshell with this episode, and because they all felt like they weren't really um, made to be in this town and such. This felt like an introverted type episode. And such. Because and, it seems like when you look at these three and how they are solo, they're very much to themselves. And that's what an introvert is. Hell, I am one. I am a, I'm a person who's very much to myself. But when you first meet me, like, I am hella shy. Uh, it takes me, like, a little bit to warm up to a person because I'm like, hmm, I don't know how someone's going to be around me. And such. Because I'm over here, I'm like, because you know how, like, everybody says... First impressions are everything. That's me. I'm literally analyzing you from the moment I meet you. Like, yes, I can still be, like, um, very, like, outgoing and such. But at the same time, I'm like, mm -hmm, don't know about you just yet. Gotta get to know you and such. So when I was uh, making friends in, like, high school and such, if we did have, like, the same class together and if we were talking... Excuse me. Um, I got to know a lot of people so much more. Or if we were in, like, chorus or anything, same thing. And so, like, of course, I, I have, like, my small little group of friends that I am still friends with. Even though, like, we haven't been in high school since 2012 and such. And then, of course, my online friends. Um, that is completely different. Because, of course, um, unless we truly are on, like, a Discord call... Or anything where we FaceTimed, which some of my, like, subs are my friends and stuff that I will personally talk to and such. Um, we, <laughs> we've, like, hit it off the bat, like, immediately. If there's, like, something, if there's, like, an anime we both like, we're like, oh my god, have you seen this? Da -da -da -da. Like, okay, um, I'll give you a hit of one thing. Okay, so me and this, um, I had, it was two, it was three of us. Um, one of us, we, we still kind of all talk together, but me and this other person, we still talk the most. So we all like anything idols and such. And initially when I was doing reactions of like, not only Love Live, more like season two of Sunshine and stuff, because I, I, my, what I always remember about my reaction to season one of Sunshine um, is me crying a lot, especially when they got to, um, Medical Dreamer, and officially the whole group is together, and so many other things. But when I started re, re reacting to um, one of my personal favorite idol animates, Akatsu, um, a lot of people and the two people who found me, who are my friends now, that's how you know they initially interacted with me and stuff. Then we continue talking because I had like streams and everything like that, and I was like, oh my god, like why don't you play this? I, I got them both into Idol Match and Rally Girls. And the rest was history. Like, after that, like, I, getting them into that game and such, or even Million Live, um, and playing that, and it was around the same time when the freaking, um, if you played, like, mostly any idol type show, or, or an idol type show, idol game, or any Japanese game <laughs> that ends up celebrating, um, anniversaries or um christmases new years whatever and such so at that time i think i got them in during the anniversary of one year 
And so I had to tell them, I was like, oh, hey, if you're not this level by like this time, you're only going to get like this default, you know, um, number for the lottery and stuff. And these two spent the whole night. Mind you, this was like midsummer going into fall and such. And they spent like all night <laughs> trying their hardest to get to the desired level that they're supposed to be. And I think it's like producer level 30 for Cinderella Girls. Well, long story short, everything that they did, all that hard work that they did to get to level 30 for the producer... It ended up backfiring on them because they got the default number out of the lottery system and such. And so we we will still, like, giggle about that because it's still one of the funniest things that's happened um, and such. And now we typically, anytime when, like, we talk about our best girls, of course, duh. We also talk about, like, if... <laughs> um, what what me, me and him, what we talk about is, like... If we ever, if any time our best girl comes, we pray that they come home in, like, a couple of bowls. Sometimes it's true and sometimes it isn't. For, I feel like, asking the luck-wise between the two of us now and then when it was the three of us, I felt like they both had better luck than me because I, I was, I'm a veteran. I've been playing that game. I've been playing Cinderella Girls since, like, mid-2017, I believe. Um, and so they came in, like, fairly recently, I think, like, two years after. So, <laughs> it, it was just freaking hilarious. And now, when I look at it, I feel like, for me and him, it, it's, like, kind of vice versa, depending on which game we're playing. If we're playing Cinderella Girls, I kind of have the better luck sometimes, because most of my best girls are, like, hella hard-headed. And they don't want to come home unless I do paid freaking gems. Same thing a little bit with him as well. But then he gets the better luck in Million Live. But I barely really play Million Live anymore because, I don't know, I think I just don't like the, the art style of, or no, the animation style. And so, but, yeah. Yeah, like I said, this was a really interesting episode. I mean, just to see these three together, I mean, it would have been... And I'll, and I'll say this regardless. Like, yes, I love how in each episode it's Johanne featuring, like, Chica, Daya, Rico. I mean, take out Rico. Ruby! And then, you know, the previous week, Johanne, Yo, Kanan, and Hanamaru. And you getting to hear, like, these different units of these girls singing a song together like yes the chica dyer ruby song like i feel like that is the best song that is a, a certain type of style of music very i, I would say hip-hop slash a little bit k-pop ish and stuff that they've never gone into before and i really truly hope that they kind of continue with that in you know the next coming years into continuing aqua's career in a nutshell because like that song was real good. I mean, that's another song that I would like to hear a thousand times on my phone, but I can't find it nowhere. Um, I felt like the Guilty Kiss song, uh, this song, really much, because when you think about Guilty Kiss, I instantly think, like, rock, and as someone who really loves rock music and such, um, going from rock to this, I'm not mad at it. It's really different and such. I know a lot of people probably were like, eh. I don't know really truly how to feel about the song and stuff, but it is good for, in this, and I will say this, like any group to have different ranges instead of being one predominantly range. Look at like pop music in a nutshell. Pop music has elevated into several different genres of pop, but at the end of the day, it is still pop. But when you're looking at something like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the first person who pops up. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ariana Grande with her music. Or Taylor Swift with hers. Or Olivia... I don't know how to say her. Uh, Rango, I think that's her name. Um, especially really for her because her genre of music is very different. And so because she is like... Especially when her first album came out and how big her ish got and how everybody wanted to copy her niche that just told you how popular she is and so her new album is coming out i think like sometime this month either this month or next month but 
if that also does well, you already know you're going to see clones of it. Think about it as same thing, like I said, K-pop, even the same thing with J-pop. If something goes well in the music industry, you're going to see Ugans and Ugans and Ugans of more copies of something very similar to it. Hence why, like, audiences, and with, when it comes to dabbling in music and stuff, everybody will usually say, oh, this is sometimes a hit or a miss because this one over here did it better. But, you know, like I said, it still is good to have a different range. I mean, it's good. You know, you never know. I'm, I'm ready to hear, like, more soft songs from Guilty Kiss. Really? Because, mm, That slap, too. It really did. Like, oh, my God. Just, but also seeing them together. Like, as little kids going into, like, teenagers slash adults. They just look so pretty together. And it's just, like... I love them so much. Like, they're my favorite subunit. And they're my three best girls. They're my top three of Aquas. And just the fact that all three are in a group together, it just makes me so happy. And, uh, damn, I feel like this will be an episode I definitely will rewatch, like, several times. I feel like, yes, mm -hmm. introvert the officer. <laughs> in a cute way. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 6 of Sunshine in the Mirror. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos official when I do my much fun. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Sunday for episode 7. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!